Hello East, it's Luke Frank with Stats and Facts. We're about to pull back the curtain on remote learning. When it comes to school versus remote, where do your preferences lie? 42% of you would like to be 100% in a chair, at a desk, in a classroom. Your wishes will be answered sometime in 2048 after we've gone through 17 superintendents or so. 32% of you prefer the hybrid option while 26% of you would like to be all day, every day at Zoom. How do you socialize when you're not hanging out in the comments? Many said, I don't. Sometimes followed by, and I like it. But some people get creative and send smoke signals to each other or carrier pigeons. For the most part, you're thankful for FaceTime, socially distanced golf, and having the rare miracle of having a friend and actually knowing their phone number. Will we go back 100% remote? More than half of you think we will go back to the world of Zoom and Google Meet. 31% of you said, how would I know? And a hopeful 12.5% said, no. Yeah, I don't think 2020 is gonna end like some high school 80s movie. If 2020 were a movie, here are the top 10 titles. Number 10, COVID-20. Number 9, Stats and Facts by Luke Frank. Number 8, 1920s The Sequel. Number 7, Groundhog's Day Quarantine Edition. Number 6, The Taking Tree. Number 5, The Mystery of the Lost Brain Cells. Number 4, The Plot is Confusing. Number 3, Exasperating Groaning Noises. Number two, a tree dies in Brooklyn. And number one, the art of the disaster. If remote learning were an emoji, 42% of you said it would be the thinking emoji. 19% of you said it would be the exploding head emoji. And almost 14% of you said it would be the face screaming in fear. East, thank you for your participation. And I think I have a great solution to our socializing problem. It's this book, How to Make Imaginary Friends in a Pandemic. Smoke signals. Carrier pigeons. Hmm, hi there. Got all that pigeon poop off you.